Have you ever had a uh, burning thought or question um, kind of just randomly pop up in your uh, head? For me, this happens all the time, um, all day, every day. I'm either on YouTube or Google pretty much all day, every day, getting answers. And um, one of the things I was thinking about was how uh, much hotter a metal intake manifold would be versus plastic. And um, even though the metal one has coolant going through it, which actually um, raises the heat even more, and that's just one of the downsides of owning, you know, an older TBI setup or carbureted uh, car is the, um, you're never really going to have cold air really coming through. Except, um, I think Edelbrock did make the, uh, you know, the RPM gap intake manifold where there's a gap uh, underneath, you know, a hole opening I should say, um, where the carburetor sits to kind of keep that heat away from there. But, um, pretty much every car made, uh, these days has a plastic intake manifold with no coolant going through it. And they all have this same thing. It's these stupid engine covers that look, uh, really stupid and for the most part, just not needed. So today... Um, I want to see if those engine covers actually trap heat. Um, one things, or one of the one things I want to check is obviously if it does trap heat, how much. And the second one, if the engine cover is actually stopping that heat from that spot from uh, rising up and um, actually increasing the uh, underhood temperatures. So. I'm going to take a little ride. I'm going to get this truck up to operating temperature. I'm going to take a uh, temperature reading of the intake manifold while the cover is still on. And um, granted, some of them have holes in them. You know, they got spots where heat can escape. But for the most part, I just want to see if the parts where the holes aren't, if the heat is actually staying trapped. And if so, how much? So then I'm going to come back, I'm going to take the cover off, and I'm going to do the same ride again, and then uh, check the temperatures and see if anything is different. So everything's up to operating temp. I'm going to take a uh, temperature right off of this in here. So it's staying around about 83. I'm gonna check the actual temperature of the cover. It's about the same too, so I'm gonna take the cover off, go uh, do the same exact ride I just did, and see if there's anything different. All right, so I just got back, and uh, let's check it again. Same exact spot as before. Hmm, 90. So that cover on actually helps it. I'm assuming because those uh, holes in the side of the front might direct airflow in there and actually pull the heat away from the manifold or just because it creates kind of like a shady spot but either way there you have it so if you were wondering uh kind of like i was there you go they actually keep it cooler and look at it, it's still climbing oh, man that's crazy well thanks for watching